Where do Bulgarians really come from? For centuries, this has been one of Europe's most debated questions. Some say Bulgarians are mainly Slavs, who arrived in the Balkans during the early Middle Ages. Others believe their roots go much deeper, back to ancient Thracians and even earlier populations who lived on this land long before written history. Now for the first time, modern DNA research is giving us clearer answers. And what scientists have discovered challenges many long-held beliefs. So stay with me until the end, because we're about to explore the hidden truths behind Bulgarian DNA. And before we dive in, let me ask you a question. Do you think Bulgarians are mostly Slavic, or do their roots go back to the ancient Thracians? Drop your answer in the comments. When people think of Bulgarians, they often expect a single, Eastern European look. But in reality, Bulgarians show a wide range of physical features. Many have dark hair and brown eyes, especially in southern regions, while lighter hair and eye colors are more common in the north and west. Skin tones range from fair to olive. Facial features also vary, from sharper Balkan mountain profiles to softer, more rounded traits. This diversity is not random. It reflects layers of history rather than one single origin. Some historians and national narratives have emphasized Slavic ancestry, linking Bulgarians closely to other Slavic-speaking peoples of Eastern Europe. From this view, lighter features are often highlighted as typical, while darker traits are explained away as later mixing. But genetic and anthropological studies complicate this picture. Many physical traits found in Bulgarians existed in the region long before Slavic migrations, during ancient Thracian and Bronze Age times. Another topic is the role of the early Bulgar tribes who arrived from the Eurasian steppe. Some people imagine them as dramatically different in appearance, often described as Central Asian or Turkic looking. This idea has been exaggerated over time. While the Bulgar elite did come from the steppe, they were relatively small in number and quickly mixed with local populations. Their genetic impact was real but limited, and it does not explain most modern Bulgarian physical traits. Then, there is the Ottoman period, which is often blamed for changing the Bulgarian population. While cultural and religious influences were significant, genetic studies suggest that large-scale population replacement did not happen. Most Bulgarians today still descend mainly from people who lived in the region long before Ottoman rule. This leads to the conclusion that challenges many simple stories. Bulgarian physical traits are not proof of being purely Slavic, Thracian, or Bulgar. They are the result of long-term continuity with gradual mixing, not sudden replacement. Geography, mountains, and stable rural communities helped preserve older traits even as languages and empires changed. The Balkans were not an empty region waiting to be claimed. In fact, they were one of the most densely inhabited areas of prehistoric Europe. Farming arrived here very early. Villages formed along rivers and fertile plains. Over thousands of years, people adapted to the mountains, valleys, and coastlines. What makes this important is not just archaeology. Modern DNA research shows that many of these early populations did not disappear. They did not vanish when new groups arrived. Instead, they remained and mixed with newcomers over time. Scientists were surprised by how strong this deep Balkan layer still is in modern Bulgarians. Despite invasions, wars, and political changes, a large part of the population stayed rooted in the same land. This challenges an old idea that history in the Balkans is mainly a story of replacement. DNA tells a different story. It shows continuity. It shows survival. This deep foundation is the base layer of Bulgarian DNA. Everything that came later was added on top of it. One of the most important ancient groups in this story is the Thracians. For centuries, Thracian tribes lived across much of what is now Bulgaria. They were not a single unified nation. They were many tribes, spread across plains, mountains, and river valleys. Some were farmers, others were warriors. Many controlled important trade routes between Europe and Asia. Greek and Roman writers described the Thracians often. Sometimes they praised them, sometimes they feared them. But one thing is clear. Thracians were everywhere in this region. 
Later, historical narratives often suggest that Thracians disappeared, that they were wiped out by Romans, absorbed by Slavs, or erased by time. This idea became common in textbooks and popular history. But DNA research does not support this. Instead of disappearance, scientists see absorption. The Thracians did not vanish. They mixed into later populations. Their genetic signature is still present in modern Bulgarians. This is one of the most important findings in recent Balkan genetics. The ancient population did not collapse, it blended. When Romans arrived, they ruled cities and built roads. But most rural populations stayed where they were. When new cultures appeared, local people adapted without leaving their land. The Thracians became part of the foundation. Their bloodlines continued through families, villages, and regions. Over centuries, their identity changed, but their ancestry remained. Modern Bulgarians carry this legacy, not as a myth, not as a nationalist claim, but as a measurable genetic reality. Around the early medieval period, Slavic groups began moving into the Balkans. This moment is often described as a dramatic turning point. Slavs brought new languages, new customs, and new ways of organizing society. Over time, Slavic speech became dominant across much of the region. Because of this, many people assume that Slavic migration replaced the local population, that the people living there before were pushed out or eliminated. DNA does not support this idea. What the evidence shows is mixing, not replacement. Slavic groups arrived in large numbers, but they did not settle on empty land. They encountered established communities that had lived there for thousands of years. Over generations, these groups merged. Slavic language became dominant because it spread through social structures, not because older populations vanished. This is a pattern seen in many parts of the world. Language and culture can change quickly. Genetics changes slowly. Slavs shaped identity, names, traditions, and political organization. But genetically, they became part of an already existing population. This explains something important. Modern Bulgarians speak a Slavic language, but their DNA reflects much older Balkan roots as well. The Slavic layer is real and significant. It simply does not stand alone. It sits on top of the ancient foundation that came before. Now comes one of the most surprising chapters in this story. The people known as the Bulgars did not originally come from the Balkans. Their roots trace back to the Eurasian steppe, far to the east. They were part of a nomadic world shaped by movement, horses, and military organization. When the Bulgars arrived in the Balkans, they did not come in massive numbers. They were a relatively small group compared to the local population. Yet their impact was enormous. They formed the early Bulgarian state. They gave the region its name. They shaped political structures and leadership. Over time, they merged with Slavic-speaking communities and older Balkan populations. From a genetic point of view, their contribution exists but is limited. Scientists can detect traces of steppe ancestry, but it is not dominant. This tells us something important about how history works. Power and identity do not always follow numbers. A small elite can shape the future of a region without replacing its people. The Bulgars became rulers. Their names survived. Their genes blended into the wider population. What remained strongest was not their DNA, but their political legacy. When scientists look at modern Bulgarian DNA, they do not see a single origin story. They see layers. They see a deep Balkan foundation going back thousands of years. They see strong continuity from ancient populations like the Thracians. They see Slavic ancestry that reshaped language and culture, and they see a smaller but real steppe influence from the early Bulgars. None of these layers erase the others. This is why Bulgarian DNA clusters closely with other Balkan populations rather than with distant regions. It reflects long-term stability with gradual mixing. This also explains why extreme claims on either side fail. Bulgarians are not purely Slavic. They are not unchanged Thracians. They are not steppe nomads who replaced everyone else. They are the result of long-term coexistence. 
This story is not unique to Bulgaria, but it is especially clear here because the region was always inhabited. There was never a full reset. There was never a complete replacement. Instead, history passed through the land while people stayed. This story matters because it shows how identity really forms. It is not created in a single moment. It is not tied to one migration or one empire. It grows slowly through survival, adaptation, and mixing. Modern DNA science gives us tools to see beyond myths and political narratives. It does not erase history. It adds depth to it. After the age of the Thracians, the Balkans entered a long period under powerful empires. First came Rome, later came Byzantium. For centuries, these states controlled the land that is now Bulgaria. Roman rule changed daily life in visible ways. Cities expanded, roads connected regions, trade increased, soldiers moved across the empire. From the outside, it looks like a complete transformation. But DNA tells a quieter story. Most people did not move. Rural communities stayed in place. Farmers continued working the same land their ancestors had lived on for generations. Empires governed from above, but they rarely replaced the population below. Byzantine rule followed a similar pattern. Administration, religion, and culture shifted. Christianity spread. Greek became important in churches and government. Yet the people themselves remained largely local. This is why modern genetic studies show stability across these centuries. Roman and Byzantine influence added cultural layers, not mass population replacement. History changed quickly. People changed slowly. When scientists analyze Bulgarian DNA today, they do not see sharp breaks that match political events. They see gradual blending. Modern Bulgarians cluster closely with other Balkan populations. This means they share long-term regional ancestry rather than recent origins from faraway regions. The genetic picture includes several clear elements. There is a strong ancient Balkan component linked to populations that lived here long before recorded history. There is a Slavic component that reflects medieval migrations and cultural dominance. There is also a smaller steppe-related component connected to the early Bulgars. What matters is the balance. No single group dominates the genetic profile completely. This confirms what history suggests when viewed carefully. Bulgaria was shaped by interaction, not replacement. Scientists often emphasize this point because it challenges extreme interpretations. DNA does not support claims that Bulgarians are purely Slavic, purely Thracian, or primarily steppe nomads. It supports a mixed but stable population shaped over time. This makes Bulgarian DNA a record of survival rather than conquest. Despite clear scientific evidence, simplified stories remain popular. One common myth is that the arrival of Slavs erased earlier populations. Another is that Thracians vanished completely. A third claims that Bulgars replaced everyone and created a new people from scratch. These ideas are appealing because they are simple. They offer clean beginnings and clear identities. Real history is not simple. In reality, populations adapt. They absorb newcomers. They shift language and culture without abandoning ancestry. DNA shows that continuity is far more common than replacement. One reason for this continuity is geography. The land that makes up modern Bulgaria includes mountains, plains, and river systems. These landscapes encourage settlement rather than constant movement. Communities formed in valleys and along rivers where agriculture was reliable. Mountains acted as natural barriers. They slowed down large-scale population replacement and protected local groups during periods of instability. Geography does not decide history, but it shapes how history unfolds. In Bulgaria, it helped preserve population continuity, even during times of political change. Another important idea is the difference between cultural identity and biological ancestry. People often assume that language equals ancestry. History shows this is rarely true. Languages spread through trade, religion, power, and social advantage. DNA spreads through families over generations. In Bulgaria, Slavic language and culture became dominant. 
but the people who adopted them were often descendants of much older populations. This distinction explains why genetic studies often surprise people. Culture leaves visible traces. DNA carries quieter ones. Bulgarian DNA also highlights something broader. Many Balkan populations share deep genetic connections. Borders changed, names changed, identities evolved, but people remained interconnected. This shared heritage challenges modern divisions. It shows that the region's history is deeply intertwined. Rather than isolated stories, Balkan populations represent variations of a long, shared past. Genetic researchers are especially interested in the Balkans because it preserves long-term population stability. In many parts of Europe, large-scale migrations caused sharper genetic shifts. In the Balkans, continuity remained strong despite constant historical change. This makes Bulgarian DNA valuable for understanding how human populations survive long-term pressure without disappearing. It is not a story of isolation. It is a story of resilience. The history of Bulgaria itself, from ancient Thracian communities and Roman rule to Slavic migrations, the Bulgar tribes, and centuries of empire, has left its mark on the Bulgarian genetic story. Every chapter added a new layer, shaping the people who live there today. If you've enjoyed this journey through the unique DNA of Bulgarians, let us know in the comments. Have you ever taken a DNA test and discovered Bulgarian roots? Or maybe you've always wondered where your family traditions, features, or regional identity come from. Share your story, we'd love to hear it. And don't forget, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more content, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload. Thanks for watching. Goodbye for now.